But Imhotep is still Imhotep. Private school, resources, history. Learn what y'all can do. Who's gonna step up and rise to the fucking occasion? You understand? Let's go. We're rising to the occasion. You understand? Let's go. The Motep Charter High School is an African-centered STEM uh, charter high school. So the, the main part of it is the African-centered part. So, you know, uh, in addition to all the normal classes that we take, you know, like all your normal subjects, you know, our students have, you know, uh, classes that are focused on their African history and African culture, just really teaching that and, you know, like really instilling it in our kids. It's also in a lot of the practices that we do, like every morning we have libation, you know, like we have our honors assemblies and hero assemblies and things like that, where, you know, we're invoking, you know, we're pouring libation for our ancestors, invoking the spirits of our ancestors and really just making sure that our our kids, you know, know that they came from greatness. They, you know, they didn't start here in America. They came from kings and queens back in Africa. I've been playing football since the 75, which is, I mean, it's first grade. So first grade all the way up until now. So I was like eight, I think, in first grade. And I've been playing football since I was eight years old. Uh, football been a part of my life since I was five years old. For like 11 years now. I began my playing career uh, for Pop Warner for the Ivy Hill Saints. Uh, I went on to play my high school ball at Central High School. I was recruited to Westchester University as a cornerback, so I played there for four years. I, I would say I had a family of football players, but you know it really didn't go beyond the Pop Warner high school level. I was the first player in my family to uh, be actually go on to college to play, so you know I was like you know I kind of like started the trend for that one, but you know that like led to I didn't really know what to expect, honestly. Some ball I know named not Ray. His mom and his dad came to school program. It was the pan was about to shut down because they ain't have enough kids, so they bring in flyers. So I brought it to my mom one day. I was like, "Can we go?" And she had took me. Ever since then, I just been playing for them. Uh, really, myself, I used to play around the neighborhood. I knew myself was good, so I wanted to play it. My big brother on the block every day, just going at it with him. And then my mom just signed me up for the team, and then he was doing it the whole way. Yeah, my brother, one of my cousins played football. So I quit a couple times. He told me like I had a game coming up. I used to go to his games. So I ain't go to practice all week. I went to the game, they put me in. I scored a touchdown ever since then. Started playing football. The tradition here is rich, you know I mean? This is a proud winning program. You know, uh, you know, dating back to as far as, you know, Coach Mark, you know, when they first started the program, you know, like, it's always been a lot of love behind the program and things like that, and it just really got rolling over the years, you know. So shout out to all those guys that came before me and, like, you know, laid the foundation for where we are right now because, you know, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all the coaches, you know what I mean, both past and present. Um, you know, we were the first Philadelphia public high school team to win the state championship. Uh, we've played in the four out of the last five state championships. Um, you know, we've sent countless uh, student athletes to college, all types of levels. Uh, we have four players in the NFL right now and a slew more that will be going in this year and in the next coming years. Um, you know, so we have a very rich alumni. Uh, you know, I mean, this, this is a proud program. You know, when we don't do well, our alumni tell us about it. You know, the community tells us about it. Our MOTEP family tells us about it. So, you know, the pressure is on our kids to perform. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure. It's a, like I, every little thing you do, people look at it, so you can't even mess up. And then it's like the people that came before you, like, like they look back and they be like, uh, what y'all got going on with the program and stuff. They always stopping by and stuff, making sure we still all good at winning. So it was like, uh, you got to just do the best. I don't feel no pressure. But it's like, you got to step up, be better than the last person that was here, or be just as good. Oh, not really. I, when I was here, it was sophomore year. We had dogs before me, and I seen how they carried it. So I just carried on the tradition. Uh, it's not a lot of pressure for me because I was planning on coming to Motep since like the fifth grade. I used to be on the sideline, uh, holding the footballs for him, got a practice jersey on. So I was like, like molding into this tradition. So when I came here, I already, I already knew it was go time. It was dumb bus. First couple of years was really good, honestly. Um, my first year was the, like, you know, was was amazing. It got off to a great start. You know, my first year we won a state title. On um, that 2015 team, will probably go down as one of the greatest 
uh, teams in, I don't think just Philly history, high school history, but high school football history, in my opinion. You know, um, I started off as a defensive back coach here. Uh, you know, I was blessed to coach some great guys. Uh, my first year was Prince Smith, who went on to New Hampshire. Then uh, Mike Crawford, who went on to New Hampshire as well. Um, you know, I had Ashim Young, Taki Smith, you know, in those first couple of years. You know, was, I had just a, bunch, a bunch of great DBs. A lot of success. Um, Shaka Tony, he declared, he, he, he projected to go third round this year. Um, Dre Mintz, he went to Vanderbilt. He, he in the draft, he got like that kind of money on him. And Omar Spinks, but he he um he out uh or Oregon State right now and doing his thing. So them three, they like set the tone for like the D and outside linebacker position. Um DJ Moore and Yusuf Terry, you two are receivers. Uh DJ Moore, he in the league right now, Carolina Panthers and uh Yusuf Terry, he in college doing his thing. Dre Sky, Taki. Ashim, me soon, <laughs> Jay Byrne. And Saint, I see him play your time and motivate me. Because we make plays, I want to make plays too. You know, I am keeping a lot of the same traditions that we have, you know, because that's really at the core of this program. You know, the only thing I'm really implementing is just, you know, I just feel like I'm just want to restore that feeling, restore that attitude back to MOTEP Charter that we had. You know, we had a down year last year. We had like a mediocre season last year, going 8 or 5. So like this season, season was like the show, like, like we still the same type that we always been. You know, my, my um, goal, you know, and all the coaches' goals and the players' goals, because we've been talking about this, is, you know, just reclaiming our spot as the top team in not only the city of Philadelphia, but the state of PA. You know, I tell our players all the time, we want to finish top 10 in the country. You know, we're very known, you know, across the, you know, United States because of the players that we have playing at that level. I have 28. Twenty five. Uh, I had twenty two. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, it was pit. It was a Monday, and it was uh, February twenty first, twenty twenty. I mean, January twenty first. Yeah, I remember that. Like, yeah, but that's the first off week. I remember that one. We would do Zoom workouts where we had one of our coaches with lead workouts, and all the kids would follow into our Zoom link, and you know, be working out, you know, at their home, doing a lot of body weight uh, conditioning, like things like that. Now, I like I like online because it's like. They give you a lot more passes, more lenient, lenient. So it's not like you got like let's say your Wi-Fi acting up or something. Like you, you tell them that, or you go to school like ain't no Wi-Fi. You get on the bus or get in the car. How you get here? So I'm like, all right, that's cool. And then like you only got two classes compared to like seven, I think. Yeah, seven classes compared to two. That's a big. Big major step, and then we get breaks in between, so that's even better. Uh, it's it's easier as at home, but school is way more fun. Like going around the whole hall, cause our school like family oriented, so everybody know each other, they talk to each other, communicating. So then when this when we at home, it's just easier to get your work done and get your grades up. Mm -hmm. But it's not not fun at all. I don't like it on the laptop at all. Like I ain't like on online learning in person. I gotta be like in person, hands on. So we still have a couple more players, uh, seniors that we need that need to be signed. Uh, so it definitely affected them, you know, negatively because you know um, uh, they didn't have film for their senior year. You know, like you know, a lot of schools like they were interested in them, they liked their measurables and things like that, but they wanted to see them again. You know how they looked their senior year, so it's been a little bit difficult for them. You know, but you know, with this spring season, we're hoping that we can get that film out there and you know, hopefully get some opportunities. Um. But when COVID hit, it slowed down because I had a whole bunch of interest. Uh, I had a couple offers. And once COVID hit, I lost touch with some of the colleges that I had offers from. And then I just stopped communicating with them. And then West Chester hit me up. And then they, they told me that they wanted me for a ride and all of that. So like, everything fell into place. It's, it's just, it, it ain't that bad only because, like, I'm still younger than everybody else. So I still got time to, to make a choice and do what I got to do. Like, look at all the schools. No, I didn't get to do none of my official visits. I committed early to West Virginia. So I was kind of glad COVID came around, shut down, visiting, and all that.
this stuff allowed people opportunity. We were fortunate here at MOTEP because we had nine seniors that signed on signing day. So we had five that committed on early signing day and then four, uh, four more that committed on the regular signing day, national signing day in February. So we had competition all up and down, you know, like honestly. Our quarterback position is definitely um, like a big, you know, key to our offense and just the team in general. So we're excited to see what the guys in that quarterback room do and how they handle that pressure. Um, you know, we have a very, you know, senior secondary. So, like, you know, they probably played the most on our team, but they are going to be leaving next year in the fall. So we want to see what those young guys stepping up in the secondary could really do. I'm very excited to see our O-line. Um, they've been gelling a whole lot, a whole lot, um, you know, um, and, you know, they, they've gotten stronger. They've gotten, like, you know, tougher. You know, like, they've, they, they've you know, learned the offense and things like that. And I'm really excited to see what those guys can do because you live and die by what happens up front. And on the other side to that, one of our talent, most talented positions probably our defensive line. We have a good group of older and younger guys, you know, that are, you know, receiving a lot of Division One attention, but, like, they're nasty on that side of the ball. They can rush the passer. And I feel like a lot of them have gotten better at playing the run. You know, it's not like just – how can get many more sacks, but you know, they're actively trying to keep you to under 50 yards now. You know, um, our linebacker position is, they all were young last year and they're coming back, you know what I mean, with a whole year under their belt. So they're very excited to go. Um, our wide receiver group is super, super duper talented. Um, and I feel like the running back position is, you know, wide open where, you know, I mean, we have a, a, a guy that we, we, you know, Project as the starter, but we need you always need depth at that position. So I'm like excited to see what those guys, you know, those younger guys can do. And like last but not least, we're super excited for our 2024 class. Um, you know, it's something, you know, it's a talented group. You know, we're ready to reveal them to the world. You know what I mean? Because I feel like the future of MOTEF football is bright un under their hand, in their hands. No, they are they out of pocket. They should have brought the defense up. They know they know how our defense is. They know how our offense is. Offense and like they good, yeah. But against like us, it's like you know, it's not the same. Man, I'm telling y'all right now, I know that Panthers are tough because I was in this joint with them. But they ain't talking too crazy now. Like, what was in this joint? Hey, crazy. No, this is meant for them, not for us. We cool, yeah. Yeah, it's like every day at practice. They don't. I mean, they don't never do nothing at practice. We fighting each other. We cool. My team, Team Panther, they don't got enough. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I cannot waste no time. Don't hit my phone, I've been peeping the sun. Show me your back, they gon' hit on your spine. Fresh out the jungle, they hating on me, but I gotta go get it, I'm gonna be fine. With on my shoulder, so I'm moving different. The shit I done seen got me losing my mind. Back in the gutter, we fighting and wrestling and roaches and sipping ramen like it's wine. One is just locked in a box, so I need me two glass, cause there's enemies on both sides. I swear they been watching my movements for a long time. Now you know I'm me. Hard to just relax my mind, I'm so sick of emotions. You say love, I disagree. Smoke me a little bit more, now I feel like I'm floating.
know there's things we all got to work on. Little mistakes. Sit down. Little mistakes. Offense is driving all the way down the field. We get to the red zone, and we're getting, we're getting penalties. That's putting us behind the sticks. We can't do that. I counted about like 20 points that came off the board, possible points that came off the board, off of just dumb penalties alone. In a game, we would have probably won like 28 to 7. Now on another note, y'all ain't got to play each other no more. <laughs> no bullshit. It's time to kick some ass. Now we get to beat up on some other people. 90 feet. Right. Yeah, I ain't got to go against big ass mirror no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, defense. You got to be able to play for four quarters straight. No lapses, no mental lapses. No matter who's out there on the field, who's off, who hurt, don't matter. It's next man up. That's what I was got to be. Now we saw some good things out of some young guys and guys that are new. That's like really exciting. And some guys, you got stuff you need to work on. But it's really about how you bounce back this week. It's a big week of practice. Saturday night, we're right back here under the lights against a new opponent. Yeah. Time to be ready. And it's really about how we prepare all week long. All week long. A constant pursuit of excellence. Best is the standard. All that type of shit. It's going to come to a head next week, Saturday. They got to see us. They got to play us. Ain't no more fucking running. Ain't no more canceling. They got to see us. They on the menu. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, we're a family again. Ain't no more beef. Tap on three, tap on me. One, two, three. Yo, 2024, break down those sidelines. So look, I promise you, I'm walking up, right? Susan walking in too. Look, they see Monk. They talking about, they talking about, oh, you cute. The next day they see me, they turn around and meet Susan, oh, you cute too. I'm like, bro, what? Don't have them stack more than you. They're freshmen. He said, they can't. <laughs> Nobody fighting us in the fire. Getting the all 60 balls from the rim. I'm not scoring. Get one drive. Not getting no first downs. Defense is too good. Cool and how we cool. I want to talk to him. I want to talk to y'all. Yeah, people. Let them know what it is, people. God bless my veins. <laughs> I had more fun there. No, I went to Pitt. But I used to I used to date a girl that was there. I went there every fucking weekend and it was the most fun I ever had. It was more you went to to hang out and have fun. And that's where you go for that. We just go out there, do a little drills, come there, ready to play y'all one on one. No break team, no break, none of that. Like, hey, 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 it's, yo, shut up. It's important we have a great day, yo. We can't get worse today. There's got to be a constant commitment to excellence, yo. You got to lock in for the whole day of practice. Close to the end of practice, y'all start tapering off, start losing focus and stuff like that. There's got to be a laser focus. We got a short weekend. I mean, a short week. There's got to be laser focus, high level execution. You understand me? Let's yes, go. High level execution, you understand me? Let's go. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. We got two laps, line it up for stretch. Our energy all the way through and make sure we finish it strong. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Defense is going to be up top for tackle circuit. Offense is down here for Indy, I believe. Uh, compete on me, compete on three. One, two, three. Compete. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, 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 go. I, I think the spring game was a success uh, you know, for the most part. Um, 
number one, you know, like just programmatically, you know, like we got a lot of like like those kinks out. You know, like stuff you can't really account for is you know like game situations. Before you hike it, all right? Both sides can feel it. Move on, move on. Move on. Now, some of the things that we realized that we got to improve on is number one, our communication. You know, like uh, coaches wise and you know player wise on the field. Um, that's something we definitely improve on. Um, cutting down on a lot of the mental mistakes that we were making. You know, so like you know we had a couple like pre snap penalties that kind of put us behind. We had a lot of success here. I'm in an MO type, you just you 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 adapt to the success. I mean it's a winning program. Big facts. That's kinda why you come here, you kinda choose to go here. My, my my biggest accomplishment was winning the state championship with my team. Like everything else is like good credentials, but nothing was better than coming out here and you see the field, you see everything that we go through and just being able to just go and win that state championship, that's probably my biggest accomplishment. Everything else was just a plus. Like, I ain't really have no big comment because uh, we went to the state chip and we lost. Uh, so my biggest comment was basically like me being able to come here, produce, and then basically get to the next level. No, that, that it's a blessing like that. He really loved the game and football and Emotep. Like he gave us all every day. Like beyond Emotep, beyond football, he was helping with SATs, tutoring. You know, he had the school district. Like it was really strategic things that he was doing to help each individual on the team. So. That's a good dude right there. I kind of like how they kind of kept somebody that's been around for, a, for the last couple of years in, in the program and moved him as the head coach that they hiring somebody new. Uh, just to keep the legacy going, kind of showing um, we're still trying to get back to the program and where we came from it and we kind of know what it's like. Yeah, just to show them, like, it's way more to give out here. Like, we wasn't playing out here. This was our, like, our home. This is where we slept. This is where we coming from. Seven, four days at going into <laughs> school, like, just being around your coaches to build that bond that like no other MOT is the best program that I believe if you come from a low power income or an urban community, this is this is where you need to be because it's cut through, you feel me, and it's it's gonna help you succeed in life. Well you're definitely gonna get in once you get out. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing I think it was success because you know like this was about our program and being able to, you know, uh, get our keep keep our kids engaged and you know what I mean get ready for the spring season. But I think the bigger picture of that is you know I wanna use this um, this game and the success of the game, you know what I mean, to be able to change like things in PA where we can really have a spring season for our kids. You know what I mean? Because we're behind. We're behind as far as, you know, um, like compared to places like down south and out west where they can have spring seasons and things like that. And we're talking about real football, you know, like during those times. And, you know, we can be able to move towards like having a true spring season, even if it's for a month or a couple weeks, you know what I mean? I feel like we can close that gap. You know, on that next level, you know what I mean? We're running in more like a college uh, college field rather than going from August to December and then that being that. I ain't never had to have no security. Let's go. None of hey. that. Now, I am. Oh, oh. Yeah. 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 Hit him in the wrong spot. Hand. Go. Hey. 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 Hey.
<laughs> go. Oh. Go. You go. I'm ready to put up some numbers, get a blowout, and start the season off so we can go undefeated. And by that, we're going to turn up the whole way, too. It's going to be lit. It's going to be easy, too. another game. It's probably personal for them just because who we are. What we look at this is another game. Okay. They, they get their one little, one little day of fame playing us. And after that, they back to just being regular kings. So, it is what it is. I mean, they got one tackle cut us. I'm going to uh, Buffalo. I, I, guess. I guess he are. I don't know. That's about it, I guess. That's good. We know a couple of them. We play each other almost every year. But it ain't personal. It's another game. Got guns, quick to blow to make a wish. I say. Uh, kind of like um, Marcus Mariota, how he was when he first came out of college. Uh, kind of like James Winston a little bit. Uh, Tom Brady. Because of uh, how smart he is and his awareness for the game. He got about two or three, two or three, four, four at max. Now he got all chips up. All Super Bowls. I like, I like the Buccaneers winning. All four years. Well, I was here, I used to play on, a, on a Thanksgiving. Um, was, the Mo Cup was in a smaller division back then. Now that we moved up, I think it's been uh, two, day, you got your two days in a oh, row. Yeah. Uh, two years in a row they've been playing. So we're in this, we're in this division. So. Uh, you know what? I, I, it can't help but not be right. I mean, we can almost, uh, we can almost spit and take our high school. Uh, so, uh, Everybody seems to know. even the coaches. A lot of the coaches, Coach Dev and those guys, they started their coaching career for that MLK before they came here. So uh, I think there's a lot at stake, sure. Man, they play with poise. They play smart. We've really been working hard, y'all. I'm excited. 
I'm hoping they read the field well and just command the offense today, you know? So we'll see. Going for like, you know, a good 200, two touchdowns. Maybe Timothy gonna get a rush a touchdown, but you know, we'll see, that's not his game. <laughs> I hope King know our whole team, TCG, they trained to go. Huh? That was hard. Yo, bro. Bitch, tell your favorite rapper, we ain't feeling that. Bitch! Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. That dude got holes in the bag. Mmm. I'm gonna get Probably two years. I was there for two years. Uh, a little bit, you know. Still like those guys over there, so it's not that. It's not. It's no bad blood. I left on good terms. I think. <laughs> Yo, you from Dutch? What, 50 foot? No, for a second. Dutch, you from Dutch? Cool, uh, you did? Oh, okay. Pick me the f*** up. What's up, man? You know, 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 you Life for this, yeah, no cat. No they about to get their ass, but we gonna go Tell home. You. And I got a little bit on the way. <laughs> it's over. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I went straight to uh, Adidas and got all my drip. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Twin, they keep on talking about drip. Top pull up, show them my sh <laughs> Make the quit. Grab your bags towards the gate. Get your stuff in your bags towards the gate. Keep talking about drip. Get top going in the gate. Make them move. Where you going? All right, go ahead. Goodbye, go. Keep on calling plays in the gang at his clip. Keep on catching bodies, man. They say we don't miss. Man, they say we don't miss. On the block with shit. You got your opportunity right here. You got it right here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, we got tap on me, tap on three. We're right in the Indies. One, two, three. Let's go. Let's go. Good. 
get my shoulder back to that. You know, because what's going to happen is, like, the reason why I think you got to really power on the first one, if you come off and you power, your next pass rush, he's going to try to set him, right? Because that's where you bring his feet. Now you got his mind doing this thing. But that first one, you got to really let him know, I'm strong as shit. I'm going to use the long arm in. When you come off, two steps. Every time you go in screen, he oversets, gets scared, run him over. Yeah, you gotta you gotta set him up. You gotta get him early with your strength, right? Because if you get him early with your with your quickness, now he had now he has both where he can pass that quick or he can figure out how to put his foot in the ground. If you come all power, you take boom boom and turn both shoulders and now he's your next play, when you line up, all he's thinking is, I'm coming, he's coming to try to bully me again. Right? So once he take that step, boom, that second step, and he sit on that back leg, by the time he sit, you already here. And now the only thing he's either going to do is turn and chase or he's going to try to grab. He's eating at that point. Fine. I need like five, 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 six, seven, four. 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 Uh huh. Strip fumble to the curb. Okay. Strip sack. Okay. Five kicks. Nigga, I've been practicing that shit. Five kicks. Five kicks. Strip sack to the curb. Give me seven. Seven. Real quick, real quick. We're going to do this before coin toss, but I want us to do it as a team as well. We're going to do it with King and respect the Coach Wade, but I want us to do it to the team as well, though, all right? Real quick, we're going to take a moment of silence for Coach Wade. We're just remembering Coach Wade. Alright yo, alright yo, clap it up yo, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up, yo, yo, y'all been waiting for this moment, you've been waiting for this moment yo, think about all those disappointments yo, starting back in the fall when we found out we wasn't going to be able to play, then we got shut down for a couple weeks, people stepping out on games and stuff like that, we got to play each other, now you got a chance, yo. Now you got an opportunity. You got an opportunity to play somebody else. And they on the fucking menu. They got to get it. They got to see us. It. it ain't nothing personal. But this one we've been waiting for. This one fucking legends is made. You understand me? Yes, coach. coach. This is when you leave your legacy. You understand me? Yes, yes coach. coach. Dude, look around, yo. Look around. Look around. Look around, yo. You don't got to do it by yourself, yo. You know that the next man next to you is just as good as you. You go on the floor with some fucking dog today. We playing for 48 fucking minutes. They got to see us for 48 fucking minutes and there ain't no stopping. I don't give a fuck who in there. Senior to a freshman. Everybody got to get something. You understand? Yes, yes coach. coach. Everybody. Remember, yo. Remember all that frustration that y'all had. Remember. They just happen to be across from you. Now we're doing this moment of silence for Wade, but you know what Wade would say. You know what Wade would want us to do, man. You know he want to turn up. You know the fuck he would. Let's do this shit for Coach Wade, y'all. Let's do this shit for Coach Wade. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Make sure you can hear that shit. All you up there. Wave on me, wave on three. One, two, three! Wave! Let's go, let's go! Let's go! Heads, tails, tails, heads. You're gonna call it. I'm gonna flip it in the air and let it hit the ground. Call it loud enough for my partner to hear it. Heads. Heads he called, heads. Heads it is. What do you wanna do, sir? Defer to the second half. We have to send this out. We have to find us. We have to find us. We have to try to stand in power of the motherland. Tell us what to do. Thank you, what to do. Don't you understand? I am because we are. We are because I am. I shine. They shine. They shine. We all shine. Who is that? Talking.
Testing the kid, you know that my gang been the same But stuck when your niggas coming Talking the scene, these bodies gon' have you just running Can't fuck with your niggas stuntin' uh, Can't fuck with your niggas, can't fuck with these niggas stuntin' Niggas. Yeah. Uh, fuck with these niggas talking Testing the kid, you know that my gang with the sign But stuck when you niggas coming Chalking the scene, these bodies gon' have you just running Can't fuck with these niggas stunting Cause back in my hood, these niggas yeah. will ride you for nothing You did yeah. say yeah. something Cause you might get lined and make fuck your tire puffin' You know that we ain't bluffin' Test me right now, you might hit the ground We take you rounds, you won't make a sound Your gang not around, your friends not around, yeah Test right now, I come from a town, we get all around. You niggas so lame, you best stay around, don't come around. Yeah, I said what I said. I said, what I said. If you got a problem in the slot, bitch, I'll be niggas for a while. Niggas she sent me the Addy to slide. But I don't stop through her for a while. She said, I'm niggas 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 for I get it, I still want some more I go, I get it, I still want some more Woo, woo, for a nigga get on my fist Woo, for a nigga get on my fist Bitch, I'm trying to get paid Fuck on my way, what you say? Woo, woo, bitch, fuck on my way Uh, fuck with these niggas talking Testing the kid, you know that my gang with the sign But stuck with you niggas coming Chalk in the scene, these bodies gon' have you just running Can't fuck with these niggas stuntin' Cause back in my hood, these niggas don't run you for nothing You say something, cause you might get lined up And we'll get tired of fuckin' and know that we ain't bluffin' Test me right This was good, you got the wood on dying It's cold, it is, it is Oh, you do it Yeah, bro, you do it, I go that way Now let's get it on Yeah, 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 it's the beginning of it. Yeah, we can just start. Yeah, we can just start. We just started. We kicked the ball off and just started, bro. Shit! What are you doing? Nobody gonna out physical us. They don't want it more than us. You understand that? Y'all gotta believe that, yo. All that hard work down at Lonnie Young and that mud and that dirt, that stuff pay off, yo. It pays off. It's a testament to y'all and all the hard work that y'all had, yo. That's good shit today, yo. But that's just one. We right back. I'm gonna give y'all, be back Monday. 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 Take this time to relax. Get your bodies right, yes. Get your bodies right, because we're right back to it on Monday, yo. And I'm running the shit out of y'all on Monday. <laughs> Ready to be funny, got to play with each other, have fun today. Let's, let's pull up right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's not Football right here, just to get the ball for the win. Here we go. Step up, baby.